Hi, I'm Todd Royer, and I want to talk about exposing bad customer service before you buy. Otherwise, you'll come to the point where you're going to need help. Now, with non-digital products, customer service, hopefully, is not an issue. You're going to get good products. You're not going to need customer service. So that is a different type of a product. But digital products are different because almost all digital products involve code. Uh, underneath the product there's a very technically complex foundation uh, and many if not most problems you can't fix on your own or even with written instructions because that underlying code unless you're a coder is just completely out of reach. So you need customer service for digital products far more than with non-digital products. So in that for that reason, exposing bad customer service before you buy is a big deal. It really helps you understand what's likely to happen. There's nothing more frustrating than buying a digital product, running into a problem with it, and then feeling like you have nowhere to turn, no resources whatsoever. So if you know what kind of customer service they have up front, you, have, uh, you know you'll have resources. You won't become so frustrated, and you'll get to the use of it of that product a lot more easily and confidently. So here's how you go about it. Uh, it's obvious you should Google. Uh, do you do go search the name of the new digital product before you buy it and check out their customer service. Now here's the way you do it. You use j just like I have in the quotes here. Um, is customer support for and then you name the product any good? Or is customer service for and name the product any good? And then you've got to learn to interpret the page that comes up. If the company that you're doing the Google search on is not on the first page or not on the first page and at the very top of the page, the first one, two, or three spots, that's bad. If there's nothing about customer service, if they come up but it's all their sales stuff but nothing about customer service, that's not good either. Uh, if there's customer service but there's really very little about it, it's just like one entry, and then you go over there and look and it's just... Um, a ticket service or it's just their email address are not good so you want to learn how to there, there's more details on that uh, you want to learn how to interpret that page that comes up I deal with that more in a post that I that I did on my blog the digital cycle and it's under the same title as as uh, this this video uh, exposing bad customer service before you buy so that's what I have to say and that's how you can go about it use this type of a Google um, inquiry.